Avid Media Composer is a film and video nonlinear editing system and is the flagship product of Avid Technology. Initially released in 1989 on the Macintosh 2 as an offline editing system, the application has since evolved to allow for both offline and online film editing, including uncompressed standard definition SD video, high definition HD, 2K and 4K editing and finishing. Since the early 1990s, Media Composer has been the dominant nonlinear editing system in the film and television industry, first on Mac and then also on Windows. Avid Newscutter, aimed at newsrooms, Avid Symphony, aimed at finishing, were all Avid products that were derived from Media Composer and share similar interfacing, as were Avid Express Pro, discontinued in 2008, and its predecessor Avid Express TV, which were aimed at the lower end of the market. There is one version of Media Composer, which can be used as standalone software, or to which the user can add specific external I.O. devices, either from Avid or from specific third parties. <laughs> <laughs> Avid designed hardware Avid systems used to ship with Avid branded I.O. boxes, like Mojo, Adrenaline and Nitrous, but in recent years have ceased to produce their own hardware, and have started collaborating with companies like Blackmagic Design and Arja, releasing customized, Avid branded I.O. boxes, like DNxIO, DNxIQ and DNxIV. <laughs> Third-party supported hardware Starting with Media Composer v6, Avid has introduced a new OpenIO API to allow third-party companies to interface their hardware into Media Composer. Arja Video Systems, Blackmagic Design, Matrox, Bluefush and Motu are supporting this API. Avid's own DX hardware is still natively interfaced into the application which currently allows some extra features that OpenIO is limited in LTC timecode support for example. It is expected that over time some of these missing APIs will be added. The majority of users will probably not be affected by these limitations. Arja Video Systems I.O. Express, starting with Media Composer v5.5, Avid has added support for the Arja Video Systems I.O. Express interface. This interface will allow SD, HD input and output via SDI and HDMI. It also has analog video and audio outputs for monitoring. It connects to a desktop or laptop computer via PCIe or ExpressCard 34 interface. Matrox MX02 Mini, starting with Media Composer V5, Avid has added support for the Matrox MX02 Mini interface, as a breakout box with no additional processing. While this interface does have input connections, only output is supported by Media Composer V5, X, starting with Media Composer V6, X you can capture with this interface. The connections on the unit support analog video, audio and HDMI in both SD and HD formats. The device is connected by a cable to either a PCIe card or Express card, 34 interface, so this unit can be used on a desktop or laptop system. Avid Media Composer compatible hardware is manufactured by Arja Video Systems, Blackmagic Design, Bluefish, Matrox and Motu. Topic: <laughs> Discontinued hardware. Avid Mojo DX, a newer version of the Mojo with architecture offering faster processing and full 1920 by 1080 HD resolution in addition to standard definition video. This interface has SDI, HD-SDI inputs and outputs, HDMI outputs and stereo one quarter TRS audio inputs and outputs. Avid Nitrous DX, a replacement of the Adrenaline hardware, a successor to the original Avid Nitrous used with Avid DS and Avid Symphony, with architecture offering faster processing and full 1920 by 1080 HD resolution without extra cards in addition to standard definition video. This interface also has a hardware DNxHD codec. 
Video connections include SDI, HDSDI, Composite, S-Video and Component SD or HD inputs and outputs, it also has a HDMI output. Audio connections include XLR, AES, Optical S, PDIF and ADAT inputs and outputs. It also has RCA inputs and one quarter TRS outputs plus LTC timecode I.O. Starting with Media Composer v5.5 an optional AVC intra codec module can be installed in the Nitrous DX for native playback of this format. With Media Composer v6.0 is it now possible to have two DNX HD or AVC intra modules installed for dual stream stereoscopic capture and full resolution stereoscopic playback. Discontinued Avid Mojo, includes composite and S-video with two channels of RCA audio. There is an optional component video cable that can be added to this interface. This interface only supports SD video formats. Avid Mojo SDI, includes composite, S-video, component and SDI video, with four channels RCA, four channels AES and two channels optical S, PDIF audio. This interface only supports SD video formats. Avid Adrenaline – Rack Mountable Interface which includes Composite, S-Video, Component and SDI Video, 4 channels of XLR, 4 channels of AES, 2 channels of S, PDIF and 8 channels of ADAT Audio. This interface also has an expansion slot for the DNX cell card which adds HD-SDI input and output as well as a DVI and HD component outputs. The DNX cell card uses AVID's DNX HD compression which is available in 8-bit color formats up to 220 MB as well as a 10-bit color format at 220 MB. The DNX cell card also adds real-time SD down convert and HD cross convert. Hardware history Media Composer as standalone software with optional hardware has only been available since June 2006 version 2.5. Before that, Media Composer was only available as a combination of hardware and software or as turnkey systems including CPU and monitors. From 1991 until 1998, Media Composer 1000, 4000 and 8000 systems were Macintosh only, and based on the Nuvista video board by Truavision. The first release Avids US supported 640 by 480 30i video, at resolutions and compression identified by the prefix AVR. Single field resolutions were AVR 1 through 9s, interlaced finishing resolutions were initially AVR 21 to 23, with the later improvements of AVR 24 through 27, and the later AVR 70 through 77. AVR 12 was a two field interlaced offline resolution. Additionally, Avid marketed the Media Composer 400 and 800 as offline only editors. These systems exclusively used external fast SCSI drives interfaced through a SCSI accelerator board for media storage. Avid Media was digitized as OMFI Open Media Framework Interchange format. In the mid-90s, versions 6 and 7 of Media Composer 1000, 8000 and 9000 were based on the Avid Broadcast Video Board ABVB, supporting video resolutions up to AVR 77. The video image was also improved to 720 by 480 3D add-on boards, most notably the Pinnacle Aladdin externally and the Pinnacle Genie Pro board internally through special 100 pin bypass cable and 16-bit 48K 4-channel and 8-channel audio I/O Avid DigiDesign 442 and Avid DigiDesign 888 were optional. The 1998 introduction of the Avid Symphony marked the transition from ABVB to the Meridian hardware, allowing for uncompressed SD editing. This introduction was also the first version of Media Composer XL available for the Windows operating system. Many users were concerned that Avid would abandon the Mac platform, which they eventually did not do. Media Composer XL versions 8 through 12.0.5 models MC Offline XL, MC 1000 XL, MC 9000 XL were built around Meridian hardware. Compression options were expressed in ratios for the first time in the evolution of the product. 
Even though the video board had changed, the audio I.O. was still handled by the Avid, Digidesign 888 hardware. At this time, 16x9 aspect ratios began to be supported. Avid Media Composer Meridian was released through November, 2003. In 2003, Avid Mojo and Avid Adrenaline formed the new DNA digital accelerator hardware line. The launch of Avid Media Composer Adrenaline brought along a software version renumbering, as it was labeled Avid Media Composer Adrenaline 1.0. At this time, Avid began using MXF material exchange format formatting for media files. Avid products maintained compatibility with OMFI files. Adrenaline was the first media composer system to support 24-bit audio. It also meant the end of Film Composer and Media Composer Offline, since the Avid Media Composer Adrenaline featured most of the film options and online resolutions and features. From this point onward, Avid systems have supported media storage using SCSI, PCIe, SATA, IEEE 1394A and B, Ethernet and fiber optic interfaces. In 2006, Media Composer 2.5 was the first version to be offered software only, giving the user the option of purchasing and using the software without the additional cost of the external accelerators. Software only Avid setups could use third party breakout boxes, usually interfaced via Firewire, to acquire video from SDI and analog sources. In 2008, the Mojo DX and Nitrous DX were introduced, replacing the Adrenaline. Both are capable of handling uncompressed HD video, with the Nitrous DX offering greater processing speed and input-output flexibility. Topic. Features Animate 3D Warp Paint Live Mat Key Tracker – Stabilizer Time warps with motion estimation, fluid motion, spectromat, high quality chroma keyer, color correction toolset with natural match, stereoscopic editing abilities, expanded in MCV6, Armor Avid Media Access, the ability to link to and edit with P2, XDCAM, R3D, QuickTime, and AVC HD native material directly without capture or transcoding. Mix and match, put clips of any frame rate, compression, scan mode or video format on the same timeline. Smart tools, drag and drop style editing on timeline, can be selectively adjusted to the types of actions that the user wants to use when clicking on timeline. RTAS, real-time audio suite, support for real-time track-based audio plugins on the timeline. 5.1 and 7.1 surround sound audio mixing, compatible with Pro Tools. PhraseFind, analyzes clips and indexes all dialogue phonetically allowing text search of spoken words, reacquired as of 8.9.3. ScriptSync with Nexigia phonetic indexing and sync reacquired as of 8.9.3. Avid Symphony includes advanced, secondary, relational color correction and universal HD mastering. Starting with version 7, Symphony became paid option for Media Composer, with version 8, it was included with monthly and annual subscription licenses. The software used to be protected by means of Blesser Floppy, tied to the Nubus's Truvista board means that if the board is replaced, new Blesser Floppy come with the board, and later with USB dongles. As of version 3.5 the dongle is optional, and existing users may choose to use software activation or keep using the dongles, while new licenses are sold exclusively with software activation. The software ships with installers for both Mac and Windows and can physically be installed on several computers, allowing the user to move the software license between systems or platforms depending on the licensing method. With Media Composer 8, Avid introduced monthly and annual subscription licensing systems similar to Adobe Creative Cloud, allowing users to install and activate Avid without purchasing a perpetual license. Media Composer licenses must be confirmed either by Avid's Internet servers every 30 days or by an on-site floating license server. 
Starting with version 8, updates and support for perpetual licenses also require annual support agreements. Support is included with subscription licenses. The installer includes installers for EDL Manager, Avid Log Exchange, no longer in V8, Filmscribe, MediaLog, no longer in V8, Interplay Transfer, MetaSync Manager, no longer in V6. MetaSync Publisher no longer in V6. MetaFuse Windows only, a standalone application to convert files R3D, DPX, TIFF from film scanning, CGI systems or RED camera into MXF media files. Actually based on an import module that was taken from Avid DS. Some box version of Media Composer came with the following third-party software, Avid FX 2D and 3D Compositing and Titling Software aka Boris Red, Sorensen Squeeze, Compression Software to Create, Windows Media, QuickTime, MPEG 1 half, MPEG 4 or Flash Video, V8 Monthly, Annual Subscription Only, Sonic Fire Pro 5 Music Creation Software includes two CDs of music tracks, Avid DVD by Sonic, DVD and Blu-ray Authoring Software, Windows only, no longer updated as a V8 New Blue Titler Pro 2D and 3D video title software, V8 perpetual licenses bundled with V1, subscription licenses with V2 Boris Continuum Complete 2D and 3D graphics and effects V8 monthly, annual subscription only Topic history According to Eric Peters, one of the company's founders, most prototypes of the Avid were built on Apollo workstations. At some point, Avid demoed one of their products at SIGGRAPH. Says Peters, some Apple people saw that demo at the show and said, nice demo. Wrong platform. It turned out they were evangelists for the then new Mac 2 with six slots. When we got back to our office, actually a converted machine shop after the show, there was a pile of FedEx packages on our doorstep. They were from Apple, and they contained two of the prototype Mac 2 machines so early they didn't even have cases, just open chassis. Also there were four large multi-sync monitors. Each computer was loaded with full memory probably 4 megs at the time, and a full complement of Apple software pre -Claris. That afternoon, a consultant knocked on our door saying, Hi. I'm being paid by Apple to come here and port your applications from Apollo to Macintosh. He worked for us for several weeks, and actually taught us how to program the Macs. At the time, Macs were not considered to be fast enough for video purposes. The Avid engineering team, however, managed to get 1,200 kbytes per second, which allowed them to do offline video on the Macs. The Avid film composer was introduced in August 1992. Film Composer was the first non-linear digital editing system to capture and edit natively at 24 fps. Stephen Cohen was the first editor to use Film Composer for a major motion picture, on Lost in Yonkers 1993. The system has been used by other top editors such as Walter Murch on The English Patient, the first digitally edited film to receive a Best Editing Oscar. In 1994, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences awarded the Avid Film Composer with a plaque for science and technical achievement. Six persons were recognized in that effort, Bill Warner, Eric Peters, Joe Rice, Patrick O'Connor, Tom Ohanian, and Michael Phillips. For continued development, Avid received an Oscar representing the 1998 Scientific and Technical Award for the concept, design, and engineering of the Avid Film Composer system for motion picture editing. Film Composer is no longer sold as a separate product, since all of its specific film editing features were implemented into the regular Media Composer and or the Avid Symphony. Catering to the mid and high end of the nonlinear editing market, Avid is still used in a lot of major film productions, though it faced increasing competition from Apple's Final Cut Studio until Final Cut Studio was discontinued by Apple in early 2010s. In July 2009 American Cinema Editors Ace announced that the Ace Board of Directors had recognized Avid Media Composer software with the board's first Ace Technical Excellence Award.